Okay, and we're back after yesterday's terrible fight with Walter. And uh, I'm still not sure who was... Uh, actually, now that I think about it... Oh, uh, yeah. That was prob... You're probably the reason why he was... I don't know if that would heal him at all, but it was saying things about absorbing the elements, so maybe it was... Kind of I was dealing damage and at the same time giving him health back, but... I don't know. I don't know how the absorbing elements feature works in this game. <clears throat> Marinus, you must... Walter. Shirley! <sighs> I didn't expect to see you again. Shirley, we didn't come here to fight. We came here to talk. Please, stop the Cataclysm. Don't revive the Wings of Light. Senel! How did you... So you know. The Quiet Nerefus told us everything. The Nerefus that exists in the place you call the Fallen Lands. Nessie told us all kinds of stuff about the Kingdom of Terrasis and the Cataclysm. Our ancestors engaged in cruel racial warfare. We don't deny that. But we're living now. We don't need to be shackled to the past, right? Exactly! You gotta stop this, darling! You can keep the legacy as Radiant Blend. Let's find a way to live together. You came all the way here to say that? Absurd. Did you honestly think I would listen to you? Stop right there. If you come any closer, I will activate the Wings of Light immediately. Could that throne be the activation control for the Wings of Light? Surely is it alright if I come a little closer? Just me. Just close enough to see you clearly, okay? Don't come any closer. Don't think you can talk me out of this. I already told you. I am no longer the person who pretended to be your sister. That's why I've come all the way here, Shirley. What? I can finally tell you how I really feel. I want us to be together again, but not as brother and sister. I want to start over. What about Stella? She'll always be in my memories, but that's all she can be. A memory. You're the one who's important to me now. I've been waiting to hear that for three years. No, longer than that. Even when you turned me down, the dream still lived on in my heart. I never thought it would happen like this. Thank you. Oh. 
Did he do it? With those words ingrained in my heart, I shall now fulfill my duty. Surely? Surely, why? Because I chose to be the Marinesse. I cannot turn back now. If you heard the voice of Nerefes, then you know how much rests on my shoulders. But still, what about you, Shirley? Do you want to see the Cataclysm take place? I am the Marinus. Fulfilling the duty of the Marinus is the reason for my existence. I no longer feel any doubt. If you wish to stop the Cataclysm, the only thing you can do is kill me. Surely. However, I will not simply lie down and die. Let us settle this. Well said, Marinus. I'll handle the others. You dispose of Seno. You see Cheryl's expression? Yes, I do. Just look at her face! It's clear what's going on in her heart. That's not the face of someone who's not feeling any doubt. What? Won't you attack? If you don't, I will. I'm not kidding. Do you hear me? I'm serious. Sen... 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 I can't do it. I promised everyone that if you were the Marinus, I'd finish this. But now I know. To me, it doesn't matter if you're the Marinus or whatever. You'll always be Shirley. Uh... <laughs> Shirley! Shirley! What? Why? Shirley. Why won't it come out? Surely you can stop now. Quiet! Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll kill you! I said I'll kill you! Again? Why won't it come out? I'm the Marinus. I can't let this happen! I'm carrying 4,000 years of Theranus hopes and dreams on my shoulders! Why? Why? Why can't I attack? Shirley, let's go home. Guys? Marinus, do not allow Senel to trick you. Moritz! He's been deceiving you all this time. Now it is time for you to know the truth. Listen closely, Marinus. Senel Coolidge was an agent of Vaklov. He was the one who caused the incident three years ago. What? Stop it, no! Senel played Stella for a fool and handed us over to Vaklav. We even have a witness. Stella wasn't involved. Don't talk about her like that. What about the rest of it? Surely... It's... 
Is what he said true? Answer me, is it true? Answer me, Senel. It's true. I... see. Surely I... Did Stella know? Yeah. I see. So I'm the only one who didn't know. Surely there's a reason. It must have been hard on you, Senel, keeping quiet all this time. No, that's not... I thought that you and I really knew each other. But that was just an illusion, wasn't it? Surely. It's obvious. I'm Varanus and you're Aurorinus. How could we understand each other? Why do things always fall apart like this? Why must the Varanus and Aurorinus be this way? Why did we ever have to meet each other? Surely. Sennel. Goodbye, brother. What's going on? Ah, oh, at last! The time for the Wings of Light has come! No! What's the shaking? Oh my, it's bright outside. What's going on? Let's find out. That's... The Wings of Light! So, it's come to this. It looks like they've moved to the Wings of Light. Damn it all! I... I broke the promise I made to you all. Will? Ow! You failed to fulfill the responsibility entrusted to you. That was your punishment. But none of us here thinks you broke your promise. What? What you said was, if she really is the Marinus, then I'll finish this. You didn't say a single word about killing Cheryl. That person in there was Shirley. That was clear to all of us. A one look at her face and you knew it. She wasn't gonna start no cataclysm. She'd been struggling all by herself this whole time. Even synchronized with the raging Nerephus, she probably fought desperately to prevent the revival of the Wings of Light. Guys... This isn't the time to be depressed, Senel. If you've got time for that, use it to think of a way to infiltrate the Wings of Light. Exactly. That's our friend in there. We're not quitting till we rescue Shirley. Yeah, and that means we're gonna stop the Cataclysm. I won't give up. 
I'll follow Shirley to the ends of the earth. I don't care if it's the wings of light or wherever. I won't let things end like this. Right? Right? Yeah! It looks like there are beams stretching out from the center of the wings of light. It's pointing in the direction of where it is beacon. Or perhaps it's heading from the lighthouse toward the wings of light. Wait a minute. Jay! That light! It's the trail across the heavens! That's just what I was thinking. The top of the lighthouse has tracks extending to it. We may be able to take you all to the top of that tower! Really? If our theory is correct, anyway. At any rate, let's take the tram to where it is beacon at once. We've already confirmed that you can enter the lighthouse by tram. Leave the steering to us! We'll take you to the city in a snap! This will do it. This is it. The floating path in the sky spoken of in Orosauran legend. It's the trail across the heavens! The light connects to the tracks that took us here. Jay, you can't mean. The tram can run on the light. You're kidding! You for real? They had an entire ship that flew through the sky. Why not a flying tram? That would be so cool if it worked. Well, why don't you let us test it out? Could we have some time? One night should be enough. One night, hmm. Understood. We'll leave you to it, then. What should we do while we're waiting? Don't worry about us. Just get some rest. You've got stuff to take care of, right? Writing your wills? Giving away your belongings? Hey, don't talk like that! All right, let's split up for now. We'll meet back here in the morning. Okay, and with this, I'll try and get back to the city so I can replenish my items. Kind of need to, you know? Let's see. This is back to the city, right? Tomorrow's the final battle. We're all excited, right? Excited? I'm not sure that's the word I'd use. What I want to say won't work if you're not, so get excited! Oh, uh, okay. okay. So, like I was saying, in times like this, we have to have a party. Now listen up, I want everyone to get ready and meet up at the Fountain Plaza. Are you serious? I'm with you, Bubbles. I'll bring my boys. Oh my, that sounds like fun. I'll make participation voluntary, but I fully expect you all to come. Got that? You got that, right? Uh, uh yeah. yeah. Okay, see you then. 
She sure is being pushy. Nah, she's probably just looking to make some noise. I suppose that's her way of trying to relax and cheer everyone up. Oh, okay. Well, now I gotta go back into this. Now I can go into the city, get supplies, and then in the next episode, we're gonna go and have a party before we go and fight Shirley and the rest of the fairness. So anyways, as usual, I know, same generic message. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time with some more Let's Play Tales of Legendia.